So first to put an arterial catheter in, you need to identify a suitable vessel. Uh, typically with the ultrasound guided approach, I think it's a lot easier to use uh, a radial artery than a femoral artery, just because there's less soft tissue that you need to go mm -hmm. through. So if we look at the mm -hmm. ultrasound machine here, right there in the center of the screen on top, with two, we try to compress it and you see the two veins on either side compressing. So I'm going to line it up in the center with the, uh, with the M line. So right, right here in the center of the screen where the line is going, the so radial artery, we compress it and we can also turn color flow on to see if we have pulses out flow through it. And here again, we see it in the center, we see pulse towel flow through it. So now we've identified a suitable vessel. We'll turn color flow off. We'll prep the area in a sterile manner and do the procedure sterile. So we use a CSG prep stick mm -hmm. and then go ahead and prep it all well. So now we've identified a suitable vessel. We're gonna go back and identify it again. We have our arrow uh, arterial catheter kit which has a needle and the catheter all in one and a guide wire that you can advance through that also all built into one thing um, so now again i'm going to find my vessel where it's, yeah that's so that's the artery right there okay we'll line that up in the middle and what we want to do is once we found our vessel we want to take the needle with the bevel up bevel upward this way and i usually insert it about five millimeters to one centimeter again you want to zoom in there and you can take a look at the, the vessel right there in the center where i'm lining it up you can see it pulse i'll move it off to the side a little you can see it pulsating a little bit and it's thick walled probably because of atherosclerosis but so find that vessel line it up in the middle take the needle with the bevel pointed up and insert in the skin uh this is key i think insert in the skin about five millimeters to one centimeter in front of your probe so that when you enter the vessel with the needle tip that's going to be where the probe is looking because if you go to right where your probe is you're going to be past your probe when your needle tip is near the vessel right and based on this we can see that it's about it's less than half a centimeter below the skin surface so it's not very deep at all so there you can see me tenting up against the vessel mm -hmm. and it looks like on the screen if I'm inside the vessel, do I have a flash of blood? Do you guys see that little white thing inside the, on the screen right there? Can you see that, Sidra? Mm-hmm. We can see it. I'm, I'm going to move back and forth a little bit. You can see that. I like to walk it inside the vessel, advance it on the screen a little bit. And, what, and you can see this is filling up with blood now as well. Now carefully, without moving your hand, you advance your guide wire all the way into the vessel. And then stabilize your needle part and only advance the catheter now into the artery, like so, okay? And then we, you know, we are in and we can see blood coming out. Um, so that's, that's how you do an ultrasound guided arterial catheter.